Hey, what's up guys? It's Ryan checking back in with Growth Stimulus Training. This is another session of your question, my answer. Now lately, there's been some talk about um, GST not giving enough frequency to each body part per week. I have an answer to that. Um, a lot of times the people that claim that the program doesn't give enough frequency are the people that don't know um, everything about the program. They're the people that have actually not read the ebook um, and they're just assuming that they know all the ins and outs of GST when they really don't. Um, so one thing that I wanted to talk about today was the variation of GST that actually hits every single body part twice per week or more. And I'm going to do that by actually showing you a visual layout, um, a visual basic schedule of what that variation looks like. So let's get started with that layout. So as you can see, what I do here is you still have four training days per week. And so you still have the opportunity to hit each core lift once per week, which I recommend. So what you do is you end up grouping some days together. So for example, day one, we have part of the press workout and part of the squat workout grouped together. You're gonna to begin with your press day core lift, followed up by your first most prioritized press day supplement lift. What you're gonna do is then follow that with two squat supplement lifts. Now that creates a basic day one. Keep in mind that this basic variation that I'm laying out does not include um, any incorporated weak point training or direct, uh, or direct ab work, which are both um, essential parts of GST if you want to use the complete program as well. Day two, we have the lift core lift, followed by the most prioritized lift supplement lift. Follow those two lifts with two pull day supplements. So you can see in these first two training days, we fit the pressing musculature and we fit the squatting musculature. We've also hit the deadlifting or lift musculature and your pulling musculature. So based on those four days alone, you've essentially hit your entire upper body and lower body um, minus the core as far as direct ab work is concerned. But like I said, I'm just not including the direct ab work. Um, it's typically defaulted into the program. I'm just not showing it here. Now, since you're hitting each body part once, I recommend at least one day of rest, ideally two days of rest. So days three and four off days. You can perform your active recovery complexes on those days or your low intensity cardio or your maintenance work such as foam rolling, stretching, which I recommend doing as much as possible. Day five, start off with the squat core, which you haven't touched yet. Hit your, your most prioritized squat supplement lift and follow that up with two press supplement lifts. And once you get through day five, that takes care of your squatting lifts and your pressing lifts for the microcycle or for the week. Day six, pull core lift, followed by the pull supplement lift, follow that with two lift supplement lifts. Now by day six, you've taken care of everything. You've got two days of pressing, two days of squatting, two days of lifting, and two days of pulling, along with two days of rest in between. Day seven, take another rest day, do with it what you'd like. You should have some straight rest days. Um, you don't always need to perform your active recovery complexes or um, your low intensity cardio. I, I do like to have a straight day of rest um, at least one day a week. Day eight, that's when the cycle restarts. You've completed your, your micro cycle and you move on to the next micro cycle. So you're, you're gonna repeat day one. So you can see the, the basic premise for how this, this is laid out. You still take care of all your core lifts, you still take care of all your supplement lifts, and you still work in GST weak point training and direct ab work as well. So this actually works really well if you're a person that wants to increase your frequency. You will hit each body part twice a week, and basically that puts to rest any argument that GST is unable to hit body parts with the frequency that a beginner needs. 
This is a short video just explaining how to conquer that, um, that barrier between GST and working body parts twice per week. So this is how you do it. If you wanna work every body part twice per week, follow this template and get your results through GST one way or another. Thanks a lot guys, I'll be checking in soon with another your question, my answer.